everyone. So this video was pre-recorded in November before the loss of my dog. My previous video will explain everything. I thought this video might be interesting and helpful for those who enjoy skincare products, so I decided to upload it. If you're interested in the look I'm wearing, this holiday tutorial is linked in the cards of this video. New videos will be coming soon. Thank you for watching and for your support. Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. I am sharing with you guys my skincare stash. I have everything just kind of propped up in this little organizer that I used to use for my makeup. And I wanted to share with you guys what's in my rotation, what I like, what I don't like, and just kind of give you some thoughts of some of the products. Um, it's a lot of things, so I'm going to kind of try to get through this pretty quickly. Uh, but I do want to share this with you before my daughter starts getting a little antsy. She's playing right now in her room with her little chewable book, so I feel like I've got some time. So I just kind of propped everything in this little tray here just so that I can contain everything for today's video. So I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that are in here and just kind of go through it really quickly. I'm going to start with the cleanser. I have the hydrating cleanser from CeraVe or CeraVe and I have the exfoliating uh, salicylic acid one in the shower and that's what I use when I take a shower in the mornings. I use that one and then this is for the nighttime or just whenever I want to use something hydrating. I've used this for years so I don't need to go into detail if you've been watching my videos, skincare related ones, then you've seen this before. It also empties as well. So I like that. It's really inexpensive at around $14 or so from the drugstore and it's really great. It never strips the skin. It hydrates, has hyaluronic acid which retains its moisture and attracts it to the skin. So it keeps your skin nice and plump and it doesn't make it feel dry and kind of um, it's just weird, especially now with the weather being cooler, depending on where you live. Here in Colorado, it's getting cold. So we've had days where it's single digits and we had days in the 60s. So it kind of, it varies. So having a hydrating cleanser is super important for my skin. Then the next thing I do is a face spray kind of in place of my toner. And I have two. The one I love is the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist for sensitive skin. Looks like this. You can get it at Target. Runs about 10 bucks. Such a good sprayer, like the actual spray of this is incredible. It's like a fine mist and I put this on my skin before going in with my serums. I absolutely love this and I will be repurchasing this for sure. The next one I have is the Dr. Robox, the Bondi Hydrating Mist. It has cockadoo plum, cucumber, and vitamin B3. It comes in a white uh, packaging like this. The formula is okay. This is an Australian skincare brand. I got this during one of the last uh, VIB sales for Sephora. And this came in a kit, so it's a good size. It's 1.69 fluid ounces, so I think it's a really good size to get familiar with the formula and the brand. What I don't like about this is the sprayer. When you spray this, it's big old droplets of water, and you can see it all in your hair, big old droplets of water all over the face, and I just don't like that. With this, you barely can even see any wetness on the skin, so it's not like a very heavy spray. This sprayer is not it. So because of that, I do not like it, do not recommend it, or re repurchase it, unfortunately. It has good ingredients, but that sprayer is key when you have a setting mist, a face mist, a toner in the sprayer component. You need to have a good spraying little mechanism, and this is not it. So that's not good. Okay, so for serums, I have a couple. I've been using the Ole Henriksen, the Transform Plus, the Glow Cycle Power Serum. This one has the retinol alternative with the, it starts with a B, I can't pronounce it, I'll put it here on the screen, and has AHAs for exfoliating the skin. And I got this because I wanted something that was natural alternative to retinol without using the actual retinol or getting onto prescription Retin-A, which I was on for five years. I... I've been using this for about two months. I started in September. We're here kind of mid-November already. So I feel like by now I should see results and I don't really see my skin changing a whole lot with this. I don't really, I don't know. I just don't see how my skin, I don't know. I just, with the Retin-A that I was on, I definitely saw some results. Like no breakouts. My skin was smooth, poreless. I went through a really horrible phase at the beginning, which is very normal if you're going to try it. It's going to be rough for the first eight weeks, and then your skin kind of acclimates to it, and it's fine. I was using this alternative to retinol because I am nursing my daughter, and I just didn't want to put retinol on my skin. It says it's not safe from the articles that I've read online to use while you're pregnant or nursing. So I went to find something alternative that could give me a similar result, and that's what I read about this ingredient with the B. So I saw this in a set, which actually I'll show you the other product is the 
Good Night Glow Cream, the sleeping cream. It came together. And I like that the packaging is uh, glass and also solid white, so light can't penetrate and alter the formula. So that's really good. I just haven't used the moisturizer enough to really see a difference. Maybe the two day and night would have given me better results. I just don't see it happening with my skin. So it kind of gets me wondering, is this really doing anything or is it just a bunch of I was going to say BS, but a bunch of marketing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep using it because I paid for it and I can't return it because it's been a while. And I, I don't know. I just, if you are interested in a retinol alternative, that ingredient specifically, do your own research and make your own decision. I just don't, I'm not seeing it with this product. And I might if I try it with something else, a different formulation, but I just don't, I'm not seeing that happening for my skin. I have an empties, so we're talking about serums. So the empties is the Volition Strawberry Sea Serum. I bought this back in May, and I just have barely anything left. It is completely empty. Comes in your typical dropper that you will find for a lot of serums. Has a very light pink color. Goes on really nicely. Um, it's made with vitamin C um, with strawberries in mind. So it says the ascorbic acid is on there. It's got um, strawberry seed extracts, strawberry fruit extract, sea water, cucumber water, and a bunch of other ingredients, and it's all listed on the back. And I use this in the daytime or at night. Um, I don't really mix a bunch of serums all at once. Oh, and by the way, I use the Glow Power Serum during the daytime. Um, and so if I wash my face at night, I will use this. So I ran out of it. I thought it was good. It, it felt really nice on my skin. My skin didn't react negatively to it. However, I didn't really see an intense like brightening aspect coming from it. I mean, I've been using it, like I said, since May. So I feel like, you know, it's good for the vitamin C to protect. It's an antioxidant from free radical damage and it helps in conjunction with SPF for sun damage. So there's really good benefits of vitamin C. And I did enjoy this. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. I think I'm going to try something else. It's not bad. But I want to try something else. I think I got tired of using this. That's probably the biggest thing. I got tired of using it. <laughs> um, I get bored pretty easily, which is why I have so many products at one time that I rotate throughout um, the months and weeks, just kind of trying different things. But the one serum that I do really like and that I've seen a real big difference is the Bliss Glow and Hydrate, the Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I talked about this in my previous video, like my favorites. And I really enjoy it. I've got about half of the bottle left. Niacinamide is really great for brightening and evening the skin tone, so I think that's where I see the most difference. My skin is not red and splotchy and kind of weird. I thought it would be since I am six months postpartum, and I thought those first few months after having a baby, my skin was going to go crazy. It is at the moment with breakouts, I will say that, but as far as the tone of my skin, it's much more even. I feel like there's not a lot of hyperpigmentation still lingering. I have some from recent breakouts. There ain't nothing I can do about that. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. But I do like the niacinamide that's in there, and I think that that really does help. Also, the hyaluronic acid in it helps attract moisture and keeps the skin plump and dewy, which is why it's a glow and hydrate. And the niacinamide does make the skin glow really nice, and it's just a good ingredient to have. And I like this, and this was right around $17 to $18, maybe $20-ish. No more than $20 for sure at Target. And I got both of these together, and they have been really great. Now for um, eye creams, I don't really have a whole lot of eye cream um, stuff that I'm using right now. I kind of finished up my last one and I, I don't know if I shared in my last empties or what. The Cashmere Multi-Corrective Eye Complex. This is a skincare line created by Kim Zolciak. She used to be one of the Atlanta housewives and then kind of went off and did her own Don't Be Tardy uh, reality show. And so she has this line and also Cab Cosmetics. And so this is the Multi-Corrective Eye Complex and you can choose the stone for the roller. I chose rose quartz, but it's rose quartz or amethyst, and I just kind of roll this on. feels nice and cool. Go under the under eye and up through the brow bone and then massage that in, and this is all I use. And it's actually a really nice formula for the under eye area. It's not heavy. It's not goopy. It's not sticky. My concealer goes on really well and blends in. If I set my concealer with a little bit of powder, it never looks crazy and dry because you would think a serum is not quite as moisturizing as an eye cream, which is true. And I always use eye creams and thought, you know what, I serums, they're not that hydrating like the ones that I've tried for the under eye, but I do like this one and it makes my under eye and lids feel comfortable without using a moisturizer. So I do like this and I've had this since it came out, like the date launch I bought it and I'm about 
yeah, about a quarter way through it. So I will keep using this and, and kind of keep you guys posted on whether or not I will repurchase because I feel like I still need to use it just a little bit more. So for moisturizers, I only have one that I'm using at the moment in my rotation, and that's the Dr. Robux No Worries. I bought the full size. I talked about the small little tube of it in an empties, and this is the hydrating face moisturizer with hyaluronic acid, macadamia oil, and vitamin E. Really good. Really enjoy it. I use it morning and night and have no issues with it. It doesn't have any SPF, so keep that in mind. If you're going to try it, you need to use an SPF on top of it or mix it in. Um, I will say that the packaging is great because you just pump it out and you get the product out. But then when you start getting towards the bottom, how do you know how much you have left? You know what I mean? It's not like a jar or a glass kind of clear component where you can actually see through it and say, okay, I know I need to order it. Like, I don't know if I should be ordering another one and having a backup of this because at one point I am going to run out and I don't know if that's around the corner and I would hate it for it to be tonight or tomorrow because you can't see through it. So that's the only thing. I wish there was a way to know. Maybe like a slight bit of a clear strip maybe on the side where you can see how much product you have left would be really great. Um, so that's the downside of this. You don't know how much is left. I mean, I can kind of feel it's getting a little light, so I probably should order another one or at least get another moisturizer going to try out. Um, I do test a lot of products. I would repurchase this. Obviously, I did try the small one and I bought the full size, so this is a good one. I have for the eyes the Tatcha the Pearl. This is a really good product that I really enjoy. I have it in the shade Moonlight. I've had this for over a year. I use a Q-tip to get just the tiniest little bit. And I love this stuff and I've used about half of it and as you can see I still have a lot of product left and it's like the tiniest bit goes along this way and so you don't need a lot. And it is a little bit pricey, it's around 50 bucks or so at Sephora, but it is a luxury product, it's an experience with Tatcha, really really nice formulation, has a really nice light coverage, it's not the coverage of a concealer by any means, but for the daytime, for being out and about, being home and you just want a little bit of something to kind of perk up your under eye and make it look more rested. For me, I need that, um, waking up through the night with a baby. This is what I love to use and I feel like it does make a difference. I can use this on its own. I can also use it in place of my concealer. I can use it underneath my concealer. So many different uses and I do like the way it looks and makes my under eye area look smooth. I don't use it every single day, but I do use this pretty regularly during the week and I do like, especially when I go to drop off my son at school or pick him up in the afternoon and I'm not wearing makeup, I want to look a little bit, you know, semi-normal. So I put a little bit of this on and it instantly makes me feel so much better and it just does something for your complexion when you have just a more rested eye area and it just, it makes the world of a difference. Okay, so I have a few little small things that I have been working into my routine. One of them is the Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This came as a 100 point perk in one of my Sephora orders many months back. I have the Nude Glow and I love this. For the tops of the cheekbone, when I'm not wearing any makeup, I put a little bit of this on and it just gives such a beautiful kind of ethereal, healthy glow to the skin. Love this. I don't put it all over because I do get oily in the T-zone, so I don't like to put something shimmery there. And I do like this. And this is actually a generous size, so this will last me forever because the tiniest little bit goes the longest way and if you're someone that has dry skin or likes a very luminous dewy moisturizers you might actually want to try this because the dew and glow from this is beautiful I really do like this and I do think that that's gonna last me a long long time um, a couple more smaller little sample sizes that I'm kind of rotating in I have this Biosance the Squalane and Tea Tree Detox Mask I've used a few times to um, kind of purify my nose where I get blackheads and I've gotten it like a few on my forehead and I do it here and there. I don't do masks regularly. I do need to get back into doing that. But this is the one that I'm using. It came in the Sephora Play Box a couple months back and it's good. It dries like a clay mask and it's a detox. So I do it on my nose and then wait a little bit and then hop in the shower. And I do feel like it makes a difference somewhat on my nose with like the oiliness and also some of the um, blackheads that I get. I don't get a bunch of them, but it does help with that. And this little one for the nose is perfect size and it'll last me a while. Okay, so I've got a couple more things um, for samples that I wanted to share with you. Um, these two things I haven't really used a whole lot. It's the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence and the uh, Dr. Andrew Well, I think that's how you pronounce it, for Origins, the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing treatment lotion that's a mouthful so these are two little samples this came in a kit several months back um, and I haven't even used it I'm kind of scared because I feel like 
If this is really great, this is expensive. This SK2 treatment, okay. Let's not even get into the price point of that. It's a little, it's up there. And then the soothing treatment lotion I have not tried. I put these in there. I think I might try to find a way to incorporate these into my routine. Maybe using them during the daytime or at night with a cotton, like a little cotton pad at night and then using this spray during the day. I don't know. I have to figure out how I'm going to kind of incorporate these two. But they're there and I think I might bust out some of these samples and use those. But I wanted to share because it's in my little stash. The last little skincare thing for like routine wise is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. This is another little sample. It was a free gift. I think with a Sephora order. And this is a balm to take off makeup. Works really well. Does the job as many other cleansing bombs do so I don't really feel like this is that magical and that crazy of an experience to go out and purchase it and say oh you got to try this it takes the makeup off I can find something else that's cheaper that is the same thing removes everything off I can even use my makeup eraser cleansing cloth and that takes everything off as well so I don't feel like it's that amazing to be like okay I've seen a huge difference in my skin and this has got to be it so it's good if you're looking for a cleansing balm and you want to try a high end this can be purchased through Sephora and Ulta I've got a little sponge here this is what I use to apply my Tatcha product I dampen this little real technique sponge blend in the Tatcha the pearl under the eyes and be done with it it doesn't crease or anything so I like having this in my little stash the last two things are lip products the Smith Rosebud salve I've been using this a lot love it. it's great hydrating and then the chapstick total hydration soothing oasis 3-in-1 Lip care, I got this at Walmart and love it. It's really nice, thick, and emollient, so it stays on the lips. Feels really nice. I use this one at night before bed because the Smith Rose, Rose Salve is not as thick. It's a little thinner and kind of disappears after some time. This actually stays on as I wake up throughout the night to nurse my daughter. I can still feel that moisture locked into my lips, so I like that. Would repurchase and recommend. Oh, I did forget something. The uh, Acure Essentials Marula Oil. Oops, <laughs> I've talked about this before. It's a great one to have. I like it. It doesn't break me out. I like to use that when my skin is feeling a little extra dry or at night. All right, so, so that is everything. I went through everything very, very quickly because we've got a lot of products to cover and I didn't want to draw this out too long. So these are the products that I'm using currently right now and some of the samples that I feel like I'm going to sort of kind of like throw into the mix. I will keep you guys posted on some of these things and you will see some of these hopefully in upcoming empties video. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I know I didn't share the routine because it's pretty simple. I cleanse, throw on a serum and a moisturizer and I'm done. So there's not a whole lot to it. So maybe eventually down the line I'll show you guys my actual routine in a video. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I post a new video every single week. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Off camera you can see me there. Hopefully you'll tune in to my social media and for next week's video. I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.